Nice work my boy, that will do just fine, and should keep headquarters safe from that solo. Sure thing boss, I'm cozied up in a snug rat hole so I doubt he'll find me. That's odd, this turret is off. Probably the gen out of gas again. Anyways, finally home, what a day. What a day? What a day! Hey, who are you? The name is... Oh, sorry about that. Uh, it's a bad habit. Wrong line. Shut up, I'm talking. Your day, my friend, is just beginning. No, actually, actually, now that I think about it, ending. Jonathan, do the honors, please. Wait, no! Okay, okay, I know how this may look, especially if this is your first time watching. Two intruders holed up in someone else's humble abode, taking out the dirty laundry. And yes, he was dirty laundry. Trust me, we're the good guys. I can prove it. You see, ever since I moved into Aberration, this tribe has been sending attacks non-stop. And every time they came, they failed, leaving the only option to survive to focus on their own base instead of mine. They had it out for me from the get-go, and now I was simply returning the favor. You know, eye for an eye. Just drain, just down. So, where exactly are we in this story? Day 3. It's about to commence, and I will soon wake up from my slumber. Come on, please don't be raided. Please don't be raided. Please, please don't be raided. Let's freaking go, man. That's what I'm talking about. No! Oh, that's so bad. Okay, well, it's not insanely bad, but it is sort of bad. Because the Sonoma crops had my, my kit on. I put my kit... <laughs> I forgot to feed the Sonoma crops. Oh my god. Nah, but at least I'm grateful we didn't get raided or offline last night. Looks like a Ford smelted in whatever metal. Nice. The next thing I need to work on is definitely organization of the base and getting a new set of work crops. That is priority number one. But uh, I guess I'll also organize the base in the meantime. You know the feeling. It's always a huge relief to wake up to your base unraided. And with all the hustle and bustle from yesterday's raid, it's safe to say there were a few things I may have left behind. So the first thing I did was check to see if they were still there. What's up all up and running? This is what I'm after though. Ooh, I'm too slow. I'm not too slow. Man, it was just so late, so I didn't even think of taking the gunpowder. I guess I'll take the chitin. What's inside here? I really did get my worth out of this base though, is the thing. When it comes down to it. All that metal, all those resources transformed it into an, in, an industrial forge, so it was well worth it. I did bring my Maywing over because I thought I was going to have to carry some heavy things, but... Looks like I don't really need it, so I'm just going to be a bit careful here as a scout. Because that fresh guy, he kept coming from... Uh, I want to say this direction over here. So you're probably wondering, Sinza, what the hell are you doing? You know exactly where they are. No, that's in-game Sinza. He still has no clue. Narrator Sinza, me, has foresight into the future. But not to worry, it doesn't take in-game too long either. Like around this general direction. I don't really have anything against the guy, if anything he should have something against me, but... I would like to find his base. Our oh, friend's base is still up. I think he did make some... Significant upgrades. Yeah, he added like a little tower over there. Come on, you all know who this guy is. The friendliest man on the planet. Even after blowing up his chemistry bench, he offered me an antidote. Which, by the way, was made from the chemistry bench. Man, this guy could be so loaded, but I'm not gonna raid him. I'll leave my aberration homies. Except Fresh. Even though Fresh didn't do anything wrong to me, I, I don't know, it's a bit sus. That guy. 
Uh, let me test. Whose cloth plot is this? Okay, it's nobody. Okay. He could have also came from the green zone. He might even have a base in the green zone. Somewhere high up that I just don't know about. Anyways, I'm gonna put my May Wing away because I basically only came out to scout and do all of this as there's a fat timer before I can transfer it. Let me just depot the salute. Quick timer real quick. One of the many tasks that I had to do for the day was secure the gunpowder I'd forgotten. Clearly we found out it wasn't there, so that was that taken care of. The other was to farm up resources to replace those that I had used the previous day. I was running pretty low. Along with that, I also needed to learn a few engrams on Genesis 2. So I thought, why not just do both on the one map? You know, two birds, one stone. Okay, well, now that I'm on Genesis, uh, let me actually put on full flak in case I get jumped. Uh, Genesis 2, load on mannequin, ammunition box, big incubator. Over here, there was a ton of metal to go around. Of course, I didn't farm all of it, but I did take my fair share. Ooh, that looks juicy. Two birds, one stone, taken care of. And with some of the resources, I made some upgrades. Oh man, we'll look at the base right now. We're looking pretty stacked, we got... I probably need to add some... Definitely need to add some more turrets at the bottom. Top we got covered by those. In fact, what I actually might do... I think I, I do have one more heavy. There are a few areas where I need to fill up a bit more heavies on the top area. But the bottom area is looking pretty secure for the most part. I'm gonna add a, a heavy to solidify this over here. Then I'm not sure if I can afford this, but I would like to at least get 500 bullets in each of my turrets. Might not be able to afford that, but we'll see. Holy. That was a morning well spent. The base is so much stronger now. From like the four heavies we had to the amount we have now. It's just insane. And then I added these hatch frames over here, so now we can have internals just like this and i can just if i want to i can toss out teams at the back here for breedy and that i also uh uh so scouting around at that base spot i scouted early in the blue zone uh that had a cloth platform and zip lines but nothing else uh i checked i didn't check it again today so i'll have another look but i did notice something a bit massive over yeah right about here like what that's a heavy turret oh my god bro i'm not even kidding though i think i might be able to raid this not all of it but some of it Like, I could, if I had good flak, I could probably get past this heavy quite easily. Oh, that outlet's exposed just there. I definitely think the weaker side to attack this base from would be this side right here. I could literally, if I have a good enough stego, I do have a stego BP, I could probably make my way over there. Look at the loadout mannequins, they could have so much in there. It's just this heavy turrets though. I'd have to... Oh, uh, these guys are even online right now. Yeah, they are. 
Oh man, if I pick a fight with this tribe though, I live so close to this tribe, I better be prepared on my base because these guys are going to come gunning for me if I ever do try anything like that. If I make a move on their base, likewise with the move I made on the, that fat raid we hit yesterday, if I make a move, it's got to be flawless. There's no room for mistakes, you know what I'm saying? From the get-go, it was clear my presence was not welcome here. Oh yeah, and that thing I said about in-game sensor, finding out, yada yada yada. I think this very well could be Fresh's base. I'm not sure though. It does make sense though, it's pretty close. No, it's not Fresh. Oh, they have a heavy there. But I think with the stego I got from Fresh yesterday, I can actually raid this. It looks like two autos and a heavy up front. Oh, that's it. And a vault at the back. Ah. Uh, and most likely just have to toss the stego on the corner and run. Oh, I have to hit that. And I have to hit that quick. Is, is, the, is the guy online? Hasn't been for 8 minutes, but I just saw a guy by the name of 123 join, and that's tribe of 123. Could very well be him. I need to be quick. I sort of have my loot like somewhat organized. So it's easy just to find certain things. I can just access. Oh no. You don't want to fall in there. There we go. Yeah, so you can see like, I got my explosives here, my rockets. I got like everything. The outlet's exposed, so I, at most we'll only need one rocket. There you go. I know I have a few stegos. This one has... So that's 4,300 HP. 12,800. I'm gonna take the one with more HP, why not? Gonna give me the most chance of success. And then rockets. I'll just take a few. I gotta be quick. I still haven't even distributed some of my heavies. They don't even have ammo, but... This raid could be huge. Let's see if he's back. Because I did read into the base. No, he's not. We still have time. He's been out of his base for 11 minutes. He must be like farming somewhere. Oh, these leaves are not nice. Oh no, that's not good. Not just because my stalker died, I could have very well alerted the base owner. Not good at all. Okay, ah, uh, I think I'm gonna rather regen my HP. Oh, one, two, three has just joined as well. There we go. Speak of the devil. Oh, he's in a tech suit. Okay, he's definitely back though, so that's his base. Oh, what, what? He's aimbotting. Definitely, that's definitely aimbot. Holy. That is definitely aimbot if I've ever seen it. I'm gonna try and kill him if I can. I toss the sticker so he can't get it. I'm out of stamina. Oh my god. We just dodged that. I'm gonna wait for him to punch. Hit him once. Need to reload. We killed him. What? Oh, he's literally using a pro fab. Ah, uh, I mean, we killed him. And these tick pieces ran out or whatever. I need to crowd this stick. I need to get out. He can kill me so easily with a pro fabby. Yeah, that's he's definitely aimbotting. 
sure. I just need to get back to base. Huh, <laughs> it's funny. The only reason I survived was because his fab broke. One more durability on that thing, and I was dead. I definitely don't want to try raiding him whilst he's online because then he's just going to basically shoot away at me and... I mean, you saw how quickly he popped my helmet. But at least we know. We, we know there's another target in the area. Leaving this guy for now was the sensible thing to do. I, on the other hand... I gotta be careful. I'm just back at this guy's base. It seems he's made a few modifications to it. He's placed... Is this another cliff platform? I swear, nah, this is another cliff platform he's placed. I think he's demolished his previous one. And I'm dead. Wow. That sucks. He most likely will find my May Ring and that's dead too. Which means... Uh, I can just wait at base. I think he's doing some renovations or... I don't know. That sucks so... I... Yeah, the hackers on the Arkbox servers really is a big problem. There's just so many of them going around. He immediately... It didn't even take him too long. He must have like some ESP or something. And he just knew I was there. I didn't make a single sound. I was just coming up towards his base. There's that tribe in chat though. Nikokyo. Yeah, Maywing did. Sonoma. I hope he doesn't kill my Sonoma. If he does, it's whatever. But I hope he doesn't. Wait, where, why is that name familiar? Nokokyo. Fresh? Oh, that's Fresh's tribe. I think they live here as well. Okay. How far is this to raise? 85%? Yeah, it should have enough for you to get it all the way. I don't even think I'll tame. I mean, my main wing's dead. Hopefully, I just hope my Sonoma crop survives. If it doesn't, it's whatever, but hopefully it does. Damn, that sucks so hard. I don't understand how you can get any enjoyment out of cheating in a game. This is the, the one thing what happens when you play on official servers. Oh, am I really stuck in here? Yeah, I think I'm proper stuck. Yeah, but that is, the, yeah, like I said, the one thing when you play on official servers, that is the one thing you're going to face. It's just cheaters. So annoying. That's the cool thing about unofficials, most of those cheaters, they get banned. You just put put in a ticket, if you're unofficial, it doesn't really happen. Speaking of unofficial, if you're looking for a server that hosts the biggest cluster alpha prizes, the most custom caves, the most events, and has thousands of players on every wipe, then make sure to check out my server, Sinzers 6. They are Windows 10 and Xbox, and are wiping this weekend. The link to join is in the description below. You'll also notice we have PlayStation servers too, so if you're on that platform, make sure to check them out so you don't miss out. Now, back to the story. I was stuck, and stuck I was for a very long time up until that Bloodstalker raised, and when it did, I decided to transfer off of Aberration for a change of scenery. You know, the whole hacker situation was pretty off-putting. Maybe my luck on center would be better. What in tarnation is this? His name is certain. It's a knocked out Argent Davis. That's probably his base right back there. Okay, I'm just go actually don't even want to kill him because if I do, ah oh shame, the guy's in hide, man. Like, what's he gonna have? This is weird that part of being nice comes in. You know, some people... Shame, yeah. He's just trying to have a troll solo experience. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna leave the guy. We gotta be nice back. People were nice to us. Even when we raided them. It's only it's only right. Sure they are I feel like official it's full it's filled with like from the worst of players to the best of players. Now when I say best I mean just in terms of like 
the friendliness and that type, that sort of thing. And then when I say worst of players, I refer to those who hack and choose to cheat and ruin the experience for others. At least that's been my experience so far. This official wipe. I've had my fair share of running into friendly players and getting laid off the hook at times. But I've also ran into cheaters where it just puts a dampener on the mood. It's always, yeah, it's a mix of both, unfortunately. I just hope in Arc 2 when it does get released that the um, enforcement system, like cheat enforcement or whatever it's called, is far better. The cheat detection and all of that because right now it's pretty crazy the amount of people that do cheat. And you can, yeah. Like it's cool, it's fine if you lose stuff, you know? But if you lose it to just blatant hacks where you stand no chance then it's just not fun what is this i know this spot one pteranodon even if it's heavy turrets pteranodons oh damn shame yeah now this is one of those moments where you just gotta be nice i can't really get inside either i don't have any explosives on me i probably should have brought But I won't kill his teams. And this is the most unique arc experience I've ever had in a long time. I just don't usually see stuff like this when playing the game. Or at least on like the unofficial servers, these types of bases, these types of players. Sometimes in uh once in a blue moon you might come across them, but it's very rare. Here you see it quite often. Just some peaceful players. Just trying to survive on the Orcs and have a good time. Uh, it's cool. I like it. Now this on the other hand is more like my type of raid target. Let me regen some stamina. I, I need to, I'd like some full stamina. Gotta be careful. Okay, it seems their main base is in the back over there. And then... They just have a couple autos just chilling right here. Uh, I guess to give protection for their forge. Oh, they have shadow mains as well. Oh, they raising shadow mains. Okay. Uh, those fence supports. One second, guys. Yeah, those fence supports. Okay, they can be destroyed. I'm not certain, but I think if I get rid of these fence supports. I could probably run up with a Stego and even though I don't have imprint, I should be able to take down most, if not the entire death wall with that Stego and hopefully the Stego survives. I think. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that. That's a good target. I'm gonna keep that in mind. This actually looks so good though. There's a play right there. Hold it him. There's another player on a stalker. There's a crystal I've been coming. Hold it. So confused. I am so confused right now. What's who did I just kill? It's a high level weapon. I'm gonna try and kill it. I, I don't even know who these teams belong to. Wyvern's almost dead. Tw 
12k HP, what the hell? Cross here? So confused. This guy inside his base? Doesn't look like it. That's what flak like, it's okay. I'm not sure where the other dude is. There's no way it could have been. Yeah, no, that stalker was a totally different player. I think I saw something inside here. Oh my god. Why does this player have so much? C4? Still BP. I'm gonna drop the shield, I don't need it, it's unnecessary weight. As soon as he peeks, he's gonna get picked. He's gonna try and grapple me now because he's gonna be on pick cooldown. I'm just gonna have to wait. Oh, it's such a juicy base to raid. I really need to work on my BP game if I just have better BPs. Okay, I don't think he's gonna come out though. That's another raid target I can keep in mind. I'm gonna continue. Hasn't been a bad room so far. We got we killed two wyverns. Got a Stego BP. Killed a couple players. Not bad so far. And on top of it all, no hackers. At least, not yet. What in the actual? Oh my god, what? I just wanted to farm the BPs. There's like... A... I see a dead wyvern back there. I... They don't sound English either. I can't tell what they're saying. How did I just get hit? What? Oh, okay. Okay. Not gonna mess with that. Like, I just don't get it. What do you find? How do you find any enjoyment in that? Oh, I'm just shooting nowhere. But somehow I'm popping off some random dude's helmet 500 meters away. Where's the enjoyment in that? I seriously... Ah, oh man. Hackers. They make my blood boil. And whatever the hell was going on there, I sure as hell was going to find out. But for now, I returned home. I was almost certain that the hacker on Aberration, that is, was no longer online. Hackers offline, it's time to take him out. Got our cliff platform. And we're gonna need a whole but One second, guys. Ah, oh, much better. We're gonna need a whole bunch of structures, let me tell ya. I think the cheapest route would probably be wood fiber and thatch. Unfortunately our Maywing died to the hacker so we don't have that to farm a bunch of fiber but... With, yeah, with wood fiber and thatch it's definitely gonna be the way to go. Got one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven heavy turrets. I'm not too familiar with cheats, so I'm not sure if there's like some farming cheat where you can just get an insane amount of farm, but seven heavy turrets, psh, it's not that much. I think this is where our only problem lies is getting this cliff platform down. I mean, 
If I hop off the wall. Hmm. It's a bit scuffed. I'm not gonna lie. But I think I might be able to pull it off. A big might. But I just had there. A very big might, but I think I might be able to pull it off. Hesitancy. And for good reason too. The spot in which the hacker lived was on an extremely steep incline. And because my plan was to build up towards it, and I was playing on official, I hit that wall, and it's pretty much game over. My chances of reaching the top were very small. But you know me, when it comes to these hackers, I will try anything. This is going to be our foundation support right here, so that we can build once we're up there. But because it's going to be way too steep, if I go, I'm pretty sure if I go in a straight line, I'm going to run into the wall. I may, I may not, there's a chance I won't, but as I say, always rather be safe than sorry. So what I'm going to do from this, that ceiling, I'm going to pull it down onto that crystal and try and get some more foundation support that way. Awesome, normal crops here would be huge, but we will not have to do some normal crops, so we're just going to have to build it this way. Ooh, but we're actually getting close close to the crystal and then we'll be able to get a bit more foundation support and that should be more than enough for what I need I'm almost certain it would be yeah, I think that's as much support as we can get I'm gonna stretch this as far out as possible I'm still afraid we might hit I don't know it's gonna be close but I think this is the best I can do for Foundation support. Let me see. Yeah, the wall is pretty steep. It starts getting pretty steep just there. If I fall directly down, it's gonna be close, but we might be able to pull it off. Oh yeah, it was close, but I wasn't able to pull it off, which is why I found myself trying to get more support. And even with the more support I was able to get... Nah, ceiling's obstructed. I don't think there's any way I can, like, if I go any further back, like, as you can see, it's pretty much useless. Oh my god, it's pretty, like, yeah, because I'm just gonna knock into this tree, yeah. Oh my god, bro. I'm not too sure what the move is, if I toss a stego, that many heavies will shred a stego in seconds. Can I extend? I can't even extend. Like, sure, here I can extend. But it's, it's relatively the same thing. I just went through all that effort as well. How can I... How can I do this, though? I have one, two... Three, four, five, six... Seven heavies. And you may think, okay, well... Why don't you do the cliff platform on this side the problem with that is because of the cliff platform being here i'd have to place it even further down and bolding would mean even further down and if you look at this look how steep this is so it would be far harder it was smart what he did though to build his base in in this way where the turrets are just hanging over here instead of having a wall at the back oh man you know the amount of hours it took to build that just to get nothing out of it well, whilst no soaking may have come out of it, an idea did. Uh, right now I just don't have... Wait... Not even that good on them. But it might just work. Okay. I have an idea. Well, let me take a closer look. I got a mana from a raid. That mana, firstly, I don't use manas. I'm not, and because I don't use them, I'm not really that good on them either. But what if I'm able to dash past these turrets? It will be roughly about three here. Let me see if I can get another angle on their base. It will be roughly, I think, three heavy turrets shooting at me. Oh, I'm thinking of taking a risk here. A major risk. 
for a high paying reward, a high ass paying reward, I'll tell you that much. My thought process is to dash past the turrets and then toss out a stego. So I'll be taking a stego with me. Yeah, I'll be taking a stego with me and a mana. Oh, that is... That is pretty risky. Risky? It was indeed. I mean, the last time I used a mana was a couple years ago. But I'm not an idiot either. I knew exactly how to get the perfect execution. So, my idea with the mana is... I'm go- it's, it's a bit crazy. There's no doubt about that. That's... It, it's gonna rely a lot on luck. But if I can pull it off... Oh man. Is it gonna be insane. So... I believe... So the base is just over there. My plan is... To use the... The mana. Okay, that's... That's a bit... That's a bit unrealistic. That was a bit of a misclick there on the level. But... Plan is to use the mana. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna jump hit first. Okay, so yeah, this is why it's a uh, it's a good thing to have test runs because that obviously didn't go too well. Let me try again. This time, well, let me just spawn in slightly lower level. Why not? Just to make it more realistic. The plan is... Damn, I'm not good with the things at all. Pop. Pop. Dash. It's just, yeah, basically that, to get behind the base, but... It's always easier said than done, is the thing. Which is why I just need to get a few practice goes, and... I have to essentially dash... I can't afford to get stuck in the hatch frames because then I'm dead. I have to do this so quickly and so perfectly. Like that's just not good. I feel like I need at least two jumps. And I definitely don't want to land like this. This is basically right in front of the wall. Hmm. But this actually gave me an idea. This crystal right here at the bottom. I think this will give me the altitude I need. If I jump. If I jump. If I dash. I can barely see anything, but it takes me all the way to the back of the base. You know what? Give me the higher level mana just so I don't have to worry about... Stamina. These leaves make it so hard to see anything. I think I might even be better off doing this in first person. But if I jump, if I jump, dash. Hmm. No room for mistakes. We only get one shot at this. If I go from the uppermost part of the crystal... Is the base... Like... I want to do it, but I want to see what I'm doing. Like, here is just... It, I feel like it's just luck at this point, because... I'm not... I'm just... Sort of... Guessing where the, the base is. I, I can't really see, because the leaves are in the way. I want to find a spot where I can actually see. One jump, two jump, straight. Now that's bad. Okay. We know that won't work. The one where we can see pretty well. One jump, two jump. I think, yeah, I need to get like some kind of A on the second jump. If I want to succeed with this.
one jump two jump dash there we go i think okay i think we have it okay now we just gotta replicate this over on the actual server and get it on our first try all right there's the base Oh, I guess I also got to make sure I don't hit that industrial forge on my way in. I want to get one shot at this. Uh, let me just hop off the mana. Damn, look at the full damage I took. Uh, hop off on this side. Yeah, so if I hop off, I have the cryo out immediately. We got 20 seconds on the cryo timer. Just as we practice, though, we gotta jump, and then on the sec we gotta jump. Then on the second jump, we have to let it go for like maybe two seconds, two one and a half seconds, and then we just turn and dash in. Oh my god. Wait, where am I? No! Oh man. Wow, I actually did it, but... I actually made it all the way back there, but... Oh man. Oh, it's unlucky. We did it perfectly though, executed perfectly, but our flak was just too bad. Ah, oh, it's unfortunate. If I could just like have gotten off somehow, I just wanted to like move, so I, I was like kind of stuck in the wall board. I just wanted to move out of that so I could quickly hop off and then toss on my stego. Ah, oh, that was close. But yeah, I think we're gonna have to call it wraps on that one. I'm glad we at least tried and we did. We did actually do it pretty well, but. Trust, I don't think we're getting that mana back anytime soon. I got so close. I remember that talk about having to always, well, have flawless execution? Well now, my cover was blown. And this hacker knew exactly who was after him. It's that annoying solo again. Well, whilst I can't exactly raid the solo, there is someone I can. Because the hacker couldn't raid me, he had to go after someone weaker, my friend, Africa. And whilst I slept peacefully asleep, Africa had to bear the brunt of my actions. And come the beginning of day 4, I'd soon find out. Oh no, our friend got raided. Yeah, I mean... I sort of knew it was only a matter of time before he did get raided. Those turrets out of ammo? Yo, how's it going, man? Yo, hello? Yo, it's me from earlier. Did someone attack your base? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh damn, uh, are there any resources you might be short of? Because I could uh, hook you up for some stuff, maybe. Mostly just pearls, I guess. They take fucking everything. Hopefully they, they, uh, they actually didn't destroy my forge, so that's oh, a yeah. good thing. Yeah, yeah. Because I was on Lost Island gathering like mowings and cinema crops, and then just got me while I was gone, so. Oh. That sucked. <laughs> Yeah, I'll see if uh, you know, I... They didn't, they didn't take my wolf though, so I have like something left there. Oh, well, well, yeah, I have like pretty much the... Near my chem bench, I just need to craft uh, the cement paste back up again, so... Yeah, I'll so, see. Yeah. Uh, I, I have some stuff back in my base, so I'll see maybe if I can bring some things over in a bit. Oh, sure. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh man, poor guy. 
yeah, if you don't really reach level 100 and you don't get your heavies up, especially seeing as you had so much defenses on the one side, but not as many on the other. What's up with these spinos? Yeah, because he didn't have as many defenses on the one side, it seems that's where they took him. Oh, I just remembered I gotta transfer out. Been waiting a timer down. He seems chill though, even though he got raided for the second time. He's just in it for the vibes, I feel like. Just the experience, you know? Loving on Aberration. He's, it's, I think he's also a solo player as well. He's just trying to have a good time. And sometimes, like, just that. Even though you may get raided, you can just have fun of the game just for what it is, you know? Just playing the game, holding up, all that stuff. Sure, you get raided, but you can always bold up again. I guess just the experience overall you gotta appreciate. What's the time? A 5? I'm not sure. I think I might need a bit longer of a drop. I'll see if I can bring him anything though. I wanna do a scout though. The servers are coming down to disable the Easter event, so. Uh, probably wanna get an upload before that and then. Do a quick scout, center, see. Those cheaters, there was like a whole pack of cheaters basically. Where they aimbotted my helmet. Well, I mean, what else are they gonna aimbot? But, anyways, yeah. So I'm curious to see why they were all packed up there. Like, do they have a base there? I, I, I don't know. I wanna see. Alright, I'm back at this little hacker hideout. I guess. Oh, no way. Is it actually like a whole base? No way, they have a whole base here. What? Is there not 6x around here? Oh my god. I have an idea. Ah, oh, I do have an idea. Okay, wait, wait. This is another entrance to this base spot. I want to find out what that other entrance looks like. So this is the other entrance you can take. To get to the exact... Wait, am I right? Yeah, yeah, this is it right here. I just gotta be careful because... They're, so their base spot... Is basically like right here. I'm expecting turrets like... Around here. Tell you now. Like right around this corner, I'm expecting a wall of some sort. Uh, nothing so far. There's an Anki. Is this tamed? Yeah, it's a tamed Anki. I'm a bit confused. Because their death wall is just around the corner from where I'm at. Wait, no ways they've messed up this bad. Oh no, they have. These guys are worse than what I thought. I wanna get just kill them so I can get rid of the sick I don't get the sickness. Oh my god, you've gotta be kidding me. Okay, now there's pretty much no point. Damn, these hackers. They literally only blocked the one entrance. They didn't even bother to block this one. Ooh, tick face pistol thing. Ooh, look at that palm shotgun. That's that's a pretty nice palm shotgun. Does it have it? Look at that trike PP, what? Oh my god. I'm just gonna replace my shield with that one. I don't have much weight to carry. Take the gunpowder, finally, we got a whoop again. I'm taking that whoop because I just I haven't been bothered to farm uh, silk whatsoever. Motor pistol, 
More gunpowder. Oh my, even more gunpowder. Let's see, come on, give me BPs. Crossbow BP, whoop BP. Oh my, please. Oh my god. And what's this? Cookie pot. Let me just toss all these resources on here. Bloodstalk is just about heavy. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Like, their wall... Ow. I wonder if I can run that. I think I'm gonna make a sleeping bag. If I can take this wall down now, that would be pretty dope. Actually, if I and hide, I can make a sleeping bag. We need to just kill all of them. I don't have a tribe, so I can't actually check. Oh, yes, some bids. Let me just... I'll just rock with that. Yeah, take away the industrial forge. Okay, this is the hide I needed. I just... Honestly, I, I don't like... I, I mean, who, who would like hackers, man? It's just... They ruin the experience for everyone else. I'm pretty sure with the shield I can run that and drop that whole wall. Let's place these down. Look at all of that. We got such a nice strike VP as well. Raptor, what? Oh, just above. <laughs> Boom, all the turrets down. Like... Oh, that gins up. There's even more hackers in front here. I'm just gonna drop the entire wall. Oh, this feels so satisfying. Oh my god, the beaver! Okay, the beaver's chilling down there. And then one nice rocket to finish off these guys. Oh damn, this one's still alive. Nothing crazy on the bullet get. <coughs> I should have maybe something that would have been smart to do is leave a bit of structures behind so I could just toss the ARB in there in the meantime. Because I won't be able to take all of this. Uh, such a nice shotgun. Uh, what can I drop? Harpoon, long neck. These tools, why not? I'm trying to drop as much as I can so I can take the LB. I still haven't gotten any cryo teams though. Like, where are all the cryo teams at? Is what I'm trying to find out. I have to get this LB though. Weird loading screen just there. Oh yeah, this wall is like right on the loading screen actually. I feel like there's more than meets the eye here. Something didn't smell right, and it wasn't me this time. But at the same time, they could just be out on a roam. However, I still did my homework. I found these two smithies, both empty. So I checked the spider cave, but the result was still the same. Nothing inside. Instead, I returned home with all of the loot and began searching for another target that could potentially give me something to raid the hacker on aberration. No way, there's actually a base over here. There's no way. What turret type do they have? Autos. Oh, it's a box box tribe. 
I should be able to scout their base from inside here. That manners? I think I saw a bloodstalker in there as well. Oh my, that is such a good raid target. And because it's autos, I think I can just use an, an, an unimprinted sticker to raid it. Here's the deal. The raid? It would be a walk in the park. But there's a huge but. The name they went by was Box. And out in these official Arcpocalypse parts, that usually means they're a cheating tribe. And if any of them were online, that walk in the park would become a walk in hell. I'm curious as to how close I'll be able to get a, a heavy turret. Oh, right underneath them. I kind of want it like right here though. So that way they can't really soak it. And we'll just have it on only survivors for now. Here's my stego. Also did craft up a st- Oh my god. What? And I crafted up this stego saddle because I thought it would just have a primitive one. Because this is the one we got from killing fresh from the earlier when during that other raid. Okay, but well this is actually huge. This saddle's gonna help out a ton. It seems the stego HP, judging by how much XP is already in it, this stego has horrible HP. Which isn't ideal. But let's hope this tribe doesn't have too many bullets in the turrets. They are only autos as well. Oh man, I was about to say, if I soaked that, I would be so happy right now. This tribe looks stacked though. They have an industrial forge, they have shadow mains, manors. We're bound to get cryotanes from this raid. And if the stars align, there may very well be a cheating tribe as well at that. Oh, I think that's soaked. Okay, that's that's actually not too bad. That's actually not too bad at all. Because this Stego had was had slightly less HP than what it started out with, so I might also be able to soak this here. I should be able to soak this turret here as well. Oh man. Nice, it's soaked. Alright, so something I want to test. Can I walk around freely at the bottom here? Uh, sure as hell looks like I can. Alright, I'm gonna hop off. I'm gonna get on my stalker now. With the stalker vision, I'll be able to see all the turrets. And because I'm able to freely walk here. Alright, let's see. I, I think... Oh, there's a turret in the back? Oh man, that vaults! There's one turret in the back. But, okay, wait. There's one turret in the back, and then I saw another turret. Wait, let me hop on my stalker. I know there's another turret just... Over this ledge that I can shoot with a rocket, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, right there. Boom, beautiful. I'm gonna use my stalker here just to test, test the waters. But we did just throw that turret. Okay, they have an okay amount of metal just in there. Yeah, so they have one or two over there. Which I think I can just shoot a rocket because it'll, it won't have enough time to react to it. And then that way I can also destroy their beds. Yep. Oh my god, the sickness. Oh, I do not want to get that. I am destroying structures I probably should not be destroying right now. Okay, we still have a smith. Oh my, look at all those narcotics. Chemistry bench. Got some spa powder. Fabricator. 
Loaded. My man was a farmer. Do I have any food for me? Refrigerator, come on, Thames, Thames, Thames. He's got the food for me that I asked for. Bunch of cryopods, mid brews, gladly take that. The internal. Industrial girl, probably more food. Where's the player's body? Here's the player's body. Let's see. Flak PP? I think they might have flak PPs. I'll take that Larnik. Nice helmet. One of use. Oh man, these guys, I think they're, they might just be stacked. They might just have some flak BPs. Which right now, I don't have any. I mean, what is this creature? He has a prisoner. What? How did I not see this? We <laughs> just rocketed it or what? How have I missed this? My man has a pr <laughs> Yo, these box box tribes. They be moving mad. Tell you that much. Just harvest the body so I don't get the sickness. Yeah, that guy didn't have anything. Oh, man. I think we did him a favor, though. You're free, brother. You can continue playing. You're not trapped by this guy. Okay, we got a vault down. Do we have a bag? Nice. We also have a bag. All right, let's see what we get. BPs. Uh, but nothing too insane, really. I mean, I'll take the climbing picks. Not that I don't. I'll, I think I'll use them, to be honest with you. Um, Has... Uh, I don't. I really don't think I'm gonna make these, but I'll take them. I really don't think I'm gonna make them, but I'll take them. Mm, yeah, that seems like okay. So that I don't know. That ball was pretty pretty trash in my opinion. Oh my! Here we go. We got. Oh, we just got more C4 to blow up vault. This is what I'm talking about. This right here. Look at those carbo saddles. Oh, a hacker. This is how you know. This is how you know my guy is hacking. Look at that pump. What? But the, the, like, you just see the primitive fab. You already know. You already know this guy has his bot. I don't. I don't touch flamethrowers. I. I don't move like that. Nice pump shotty though. Basilisk saddle. C4 it. Take the grenades. Uh, metal arrows. Why not? Tropio Saddle. I, d I don't think I'm going to use it, but I might as well take it. Arthro Saddle. Rocket Launcher. Mia. Do I touch the flamethrower? Nah, nah. I'm not like that. I don't move like that. I'll move, though. I'm going to drop the crystal in here. So I can carry this. The, like This loot is way more important to me. But that's what I'm talking about. This That vault was good. That vault was very good to me. How much HP is this vault on? I feel like that's going to be his most loaded vault, so I'll save it for last. Let me go through this one next. Do we get a bag? That's the first thing. We, okay, we do get a bag. Please, please, come on, loaded. Oh, yes, here we go. A uh, level 30 mana, okay. And a bunch of crafted flak. Okay, this is actually this is actually huge because I don't have flak BPs. So this is going to just be... What is the Dura? He definitely is in cahoots with someone. That is for sure. What is the dude of 405? Yeah, these lady boys tribe. Definitely in like some kind of uh alliance or something with them, I'd say. This is so nice because I've been roaming primitive flag for so long. Oh, this mana actually gives me an idea. Oh damn bro. That actually does give me an idea. Especially with this good flag. It's not online yet. Oh, I feel like with the good flag. Probably plus the shield. The last time I dashed in, so... Yeah, I dashed in. Okay, so I remember. I dashed in, like, far back. Far, far back. All the way to the very back corner. And I wasn't getting shot. Yeah, so I dashed all the way to the back, but... I feel like with this base, the way to go about it, you have to... You, you gotta just be quick, I think. The thing is, I don't use mana, so I don't care if I if I don't succeed in this attempt. I don't really care too much because I don't use mana. But if I can just dash on this cliff platform, yeah, I'm gonna go for it, man. Like, why not? Everything is profit at this point. The flak I got from that base, everything is pretty much profit. 
Okay, there we go, we made it on, on here. Okay, so one thing I just want to make sure, I don't want to have anything in hand. I think the last time I may even have, have had the Stego in hand. Yeah, so I can toss it out, but I'd rather have this out so I can hold my shield, nice. I feel like for this first part of the plan, the shield's going to be what saves me. I think this is like a good place to start. Oh my. Not good. Not good. Oh, come on. Oh, can the stego not climb up on here? No, bro! The stego couldn't climb up on the cliff plat! I was so close! If the stego could climb up on the cliff plat, the outlets were exposed. What? Damn, I'm getting good with that dashing thing, though. Uh, it's okay. The flax here definitely helped out a ton. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I'm not too bothered, because the only thing I was risking, like I said, it's just the Stego that I got from a raid, and because it's not a tech, I'm not going to use it. And it doesn't have as good as HP as my techs. And then the man, obviously, we just got from the previous raid, but that would have been so perfect, his outlet to exposed, but for some reason, the techs, the Stego just couldn't climb. Oh man, so close. The plan was executed to perfection. It couldn't have been done any better, but the plan itself was not perfect, as even with perfect execution, the result was still failure. I couldn't build up to the base to soak it, and I couldn't rush towards the generator to destroy it either. I wasn't sure what to do, so as a means of clearing my head, I took a little vacation from aberration. Oh, there's some guy here. Hello. No, I'm friendly. I'm friendly. Hello, bro. Hello. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, because uh, uh, kill me uh, to today uh, six times. Oh no, I'm friendly. I don't kill anyone. Uh, but you have sickness. Uh, don't come close to me. Uh, I want to give you something. Uh, let me let me see. Uh. Here, take this, brother. Take this, brother. Oh, thank you, bro. Thank you. Yeah, some, uh, some nice armor. Good luck, man. I wish you the best on your wife. Thank you, bro. You're the best, bro. You're the best. Thank you, bro. No problem. Have a nice day, man. Oh, man. Such nice people. Out of all the guys I've met on... Like, even on, sometimes on the unofficials you do fine, but I feel like just here on official, the Arcpocalypse servers, I, I can't really, I guess, speak for official, as I haven't really experienced that, but just this, uh, so many, like, cool people, friendly guys, just trolled, you know, just trying to have a good time. And one thing, like, if you, you, you know, you, you sometimes, like, it's a... I won't say you shouldn't always raid, like sometimes these guys can have stuff, like some insane things. But it's always nice just to maybe, uh, leave them with like, like don't destroy the- what is this? Invisible terrain. Yeah, it's always nice just to leave them with something, like don't destroy these structures, maybe just like check these structures or whatever. Some of these players, you know, they're just trying to have a good time, play the game, and enjoy it for what it is. At my very core, I may just be a philanthropist, and the trip was good too. I struck a light bulb. I have an idea. The chances of it working are fairly low. Similarly with the mana, the chances are low, but with this it's even lower. However, I have a theory. 
The mana when it dashes, it doesn't get shot by the turrets because the turrets don't have enough time to react. With the May Wing, if you go fast enough, if I can give a quick showcase here, I feel like the turrets won't have time to react, and if I'm able to do that, I feel like I can breach the base. But just so that I'm 100%, well not 100%, but just so that I know I can deal some explosive damage to their base. Come here, May Wing. I'm gonna smack a C4 on the May Wing here. Perfect. My goal is to aim with the Mary. I'm gonna have way more control than what I had with the mana. So I'm gonna aim for that outlet, that exposed outlet they have in their base. I feel like in order to do this, if I practice from this side, I think I actually might go into single player. Yeah, I'm just gonna make a quick trip to single player. Just so I can practice and see where the best spot would be. Yeah, I, I, I think, so when I'm getting the speed, I have to go down this crystal in order to do this. And definitely don't want to do that. I need good speed. Nah, not, not. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm actually practicing this. Why is my jump so weak though? Okay, what if I just do this? So the only problem, okay, so there I have like full control and but the only problem with that, I'm not going fast. So the turrets, I, I'm, I'll probably just get like lit up basically, is what I think will happen. Yeah, that light bulb idea was more of a dumb bulb. You see, because of the Maywing's mechanics, when ascending, over time, its speed decreases. And because this base was located at the very wall border, there wasn't much room to get that speed increase. In fact, none. Meaning, I only had one option. So hard to raid it because it's so high up by the ceiling. Oh, to just do this? Hug the tree? That might work. And I could- They do have an industrial forge, so I could end up behind the industrial forge. But that might just work. Am I thinking here? Let me have my rocket launch. Should I have rocket or- I don't know, rocket or shield out? Maybe shield if I can get behind. Because rocket won't do, do too much to turrets, to heavies. Plan is just to hug this though. Let's see if I can do it. No way! Whoa! Damn! Okay, so... Hmm... The turret shot the C4 before, so if anything, that did, that didn't help me out at all because the turrets basically weaken the Maywing even more. Ah, damn! Ostego's still chilling inside there. Wait a minute. I wonder, is it possible that the turrets are on only survivors? I'm gonna take my Sonoma crops. This is gonna be my last hail mary attempt. If we don't get in, it's whatever. Alright, I got my Sonoma with me this time around. Like, my Stego is up there and it's still alive, so that's- Like, I have a feeling that the turrets are only survivors. Like, if all of them are only survivors, it's gonna be so huge. Oh man. Okay, I'm just gonna whistle attack target on that turret. Okay, yeah. Okay, nah, they do have <laughs> They do definitely have turrets on Thames. That's, uh, yeah, that's one thing for sure. They definitely do have turrets on Thames. Yeah, that's pretty much, I don't know, my last attempt at that. The first attempt to scaffold up towards the base, the second to rush with the Stego, and third to see if their turrets won only survivors with the Sonoma, all resulted in nothing but failure. It had been a long day, and I needed those eight hours.
That's it. Every day my base is filled with more and more of his tames, my workers don't even show up, what's next? I'm done here. I may not have been able to raid that cheating tribe, but I was able to drive them to insanity. Of course, in-game Sinza had no clue about this. He was asleep and dreaming about something extremely important. It was a video on my second channel, Sinza Seconds, where I raided a base using crop plots. And the moment I woke up, I knew exactly what I needed to do. No way. That's another heavy turret. It's the one on the cliff platform. If that one is shooting us and the ones on top aren't, that means the ones on top have to be soaked. That means the only heavy turrets left. The only heavy turrets left should be. The ones on the bottom, if I'm not mistaken. No way, it's soaked too. I'm almost certain it's just the ones on the bottom left. And if that's the case, I tamed a bunch of Maywings. I didn't necessarily think I'd be able to do much with them on this base in specific. But now that I think about it, if all the turrets on the top are soaked, I can do a dive past those on the bottom. And I'd be behind enemy lines. Okay, I just got shot there. I, I want to find out... Oh my god. One shot just obliterates my flag legs. I would like to find out which turret that was though, that did shoot me. It are there any on the top that are looking... Well, we know the one, it's only the bottom ones here. If I can replicate that dash with a Maywing, I might just be able to pull this off. Holy. And then I wouldn't even have to worry about soaking those. It's a slight risk, it's a slight change of plan, but it could save me a lot of time. I've done this dash before. Only difference. When I did do it the last time, it was with a way higher level Maywing. This time around, it's... Well, not a way high level, but rather way higher, a better saddle. This time, it's a far worse saddle, but... If I can pull this off... Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I should have brought more flak. No! There's still one more turret up on the top. Hmm. Call me crazy, but I see that generator. Oh man, this is sad. We all know what happens once this body gets harvested. Damn, harvest already. I'm gonna just die to this. Okay, there we go. Oh man, okay, so there's still one more turret. From what it seems, there's still one more turret at the very top. Okay, that's good to know. That's good information. Uh, I may have to just toss my stego up there, I think, in order to soak it. I think that might be the only way. The other option, I have another idea. I could do that exact Maywing dash again. 
with the other stego that I have. I'm sure I can replicate it. Do the exact dive. Ah, uh, it's. I, I could play it safe or I could do this, is the thing. That would take roughly 10 minutes. Uh, I, th I think I'm gonna go for the safe route. Hello, hello. Are you friendly? Yes, yes. Nice. Wait, is that uh, you, uh, Toto? Oh, yeah, is it Sion? Sion? Yeah, 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 it's me, it's me. Oh, hi. Damn, I'm just, I've just been busy. I've been trying to raid this uh, hacker's base. He aimbotted oh, me a while ago, yeah. And I'm, I'm getting so no, close. Ah, oh, damn. Like, I've, um... You know, uh... You see these roots in the tree... Yeah, I didn't know what's it called, in the... Sky, I mean, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I hid up there with my cinema crops, and I Chinese hacker just uh, killed me up there. So there are definitely hackers in the map. Yeah, yeah. Oh, who's this behind us? What? Yeah, it's a, my tribe, it's a, my friend. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <coughs> oh. Alright, well, man, I, I gotta get back to it. Uh, the progress yeah, is yeah, slow on the see. raid, but uh, I, I, mean, I know I'm gonna get revenge on this hacker. Hopefully, I can... Oh, yeah, Alright, man, have a good one. Yeah, yeah you too, bye. Yeah, I have a few more crop plots. I swear I thought I I've so I soaked the other turret. Also, one thing I totally forgot about that I've had this entire time is a freaking hobo. Now those things, I know those things are really good, especially when it comes to soaking. No, oh. Uh. oh, I forgot my shield. Oh man. Anyways, the idea here is to do a little staircase like this. This should allow us to actually look pretty nicely. Each heavy that gets soaked is major progress, so I'll take it. Damn, do they deal damage, but at the same time, I'm so grateful to have such a good saddle. Well, at least this point wipe is what I'd consider good. Okay, cool. We're soaking another one. So I think in total I've soaked... I don't know about that top one. That top one's a bit sus if you ask me. I think I have to find... It's, I don't know, there's like a weird angle on it or something. Holy smokes, look at... That. Like... Oh. oh my god. That's another turret soaked, I think. I can't believe this. Is this what I, it's come to? I'm not getting shot all the way out here. Have I done it? Okay, let me salvage my crop plots real quick. Oh, get as many as I can. No! Why? Oh my god. I think I, if I just wait on my cry time, I think... Okay, on the bright side, the normal crops are still alive. Uh... I think I'm very close. I don't know, that heavy is so weird though. There's one heavy on top that's like... I, for, for whatever reason, I can't soak, and it only shoots me. Ah, uh, it, it must be in like a medium setting or something. It has to be. Yeah, I'm actually glad I placed beds down. Good on me on that one. Uh, hmm. I guess I'm going to have to figure out a way to stay up there or something like that. You may be wondering, well, what's the next step? Ideally... It would be to get my Sonoma crops, but... It seems it's incapable of doing the simple. Oh! Yes! If you're wondering where my bloodstore gear is, well, down at the very depth. Yeah, buddy. Honestly, though, the Sonoma crops MVP. 
I know I say it all the time, but it truly is. That's where my Bloodstalker, well. It's somewhere down here, I think. Yeah, just over there. But this is also MVP team. Now that my crowd time is running down, I can get back to my crop plots and figure out, I guess, a way to use that to build a staircase. Just, oh my. It's. I mean, it's, it's been one wild ride, I'll tell you that much. It's been a wild ride, to say the least. And where's my body? Okay, landed on top of a crop plot. I guess that's good. Let me just grab everything so the exact same th so history doesn't repeat itself. Now, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Figuring out. Oh, damn. Easy, easy, stay go. Oh! No way. Please tell me that's the heavy turret on top. It is. This heavy turret has been the bane of my existence. I soak this heavy, and I'm pretty sure I'm in the base. I think. Now, there's two things that can happen from here. One, I go and heal the Stego to guarantee me getting into the base. Two, I don't heal the Stego because I want to rush things and I just want to get into the base as soon as possible. And I essentially just toss it in there and try and make a run for it and use it to make a run for its life. I'm sure you know which option I'm going to go with. It should be pretty obvious by now. Alright, we've made it on top. Stego, we're just gonna wait the sickness. I'm not taking any risks. How much HP? Oh. Alright, here goes nothing. I'm just gonna make a run for it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's literally just one heavy left. And we've juked it. A piece of heavy trash. Let's get rid of the outlets. Right, that's all the turrets down. Bridge. Empty. Oh my, here we go, Thames. Arthro. We have an Arthro saddle back at base, so we don't have to spin C4. Oh my god. I should probably get rid of the beds right now. Oh my, bad BP. This guy might actually have some flak BPs. I don't want to blow up the... The, the, these structures because I could use it to cross stuff I don't see the player so he may be trailing an upload oh yeah I forgot stickers can't climb up here do I just hatch it down no you've got to be kidding what you let's check the smithy black BPs come on Oh, I mean, I guess it is a black BP. Let me see, is there anything I can do here? I want to keep the generator alive because I could use it, like I said, just to craft things. It's a ton of metal. Most scuff rate of my life. Of course, the... Oh my god, he had... Wait, I just realized he had this BP. An aim barter with that BP. That is dangerous. Okay, I'm gonna need to... I'm gonna rush back. What is this? Motor and pistol. Oh, okay. I'm gonna rush back. I need to get my Arthur saddle. I'm gonna destroy the beds though with my stalker at least. For the least. That's the one thing I need to do. Let's get rid of the beds. Oh my god. Let's go, man. Oh, does it feel good to get into this base? You do not understand. After everything I've been through. Wait, I think I just cryosicked. I actually cryosicked the Arthro. 
like cryo cryo sicked it without realizing but i think all three us wake up within five minutes so i think we should be fine what there's another bit right here that should be all the bits gone Oh, does it feel the feeling though to get into this base after everything? Holy, is it a good feeling? I'll tell you that much. Oh my god, no way. Let's go, man. All right, I need I need to head back to base, though. I'll, I'll take this stuff. And nice, I hit both. Vault about to go down. Come on. Here we go. We got a bag, we got a bag. Any mini mini mo catch a spider on your toe. If you there brush your head, don't forget your underwear. This one. First this one. Okay, we're ready to get an upgrade. Ooh, nice shotgun. Where is that crafted? Okay, it's not crafted, but it's an upgrade on the shotgun, which I'll take. We get a shield, which we actually didn't have in the first place. Oh, the aim metal cliff plat, okay. I'll take that. Before it, another pump shoddy. Grapples. Gas bag B look at that gas bag BP. That's insane. Bunch of narcotics. Bunch of hide as well. That gas bag BP is busted. A basically a 50 armor gas bag BP. And then he had a pump BP, crab saddle. Nice stego saddle. That gas bag BP though was busted. Holy. Wait, let me, I think I saw something else here as well that I wanted to take. Rockets. Uh, uh, uh. Anything else? I swear I saw something. There was something I wanted. Oh, the element. That's too early right there. With a tech suit, I guess. Oh, and this vault was just swap powder. Oh my, was this straight fat. I got a metal cloth platform out of it. What? Holy, I just want to check, make sure I'm not missing anything. Bunch of cryos, they won't weigh anything, so I'll take them. I don't, I'm not too sure what to do with like the resource side of things. There's no polymer here, I, I think polymer is the only thing I need to make turrets actually. Yeah, looks like polymer and you can actually make a bunch of heavies. Which I might just do actually, that I, now that I think about it. I don't know. I, I've basically, I've accomplished my goal, which was to essentially just get revenge on this guy, which I've done. Let me see if this heavy turret, I think this is the one that would have some error be in it. This is actually a really good base spot for, like, just the way they bolt. Like, if you have your turrets hanging so that people can't, like, come up to toss out a stego, it's actually pretty... Like, even though he didn't bolt it, like, I'd say the best possible as you could. But having, like, I think a wall just back here, it's a pretty nice base spot, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let's see if the boy Toto's online. Yo, Toto. My purpose for this wipe had been fulfilled, and indirectly, I was able to get revenge for my friend Toto who fell victim to the hacker. I tried getting in contact with him over at his base, and then shortly after in global chat, but there was no response. He was probably busy somewhere. Woohoo, thank you Sinza for the loot. As for me, well, it's like I said, my purpose had been fulfilled. An aberration was now a much safer place for my good friend Toto and all other Ark survivors out there who visited it to live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a little announcement, but I just want to say thank you for all the support and love you guys show. I greatly appreciate it. A massive thank you also to all my Patreon and YouTube members who go that extra mile. I can't thank you guys enough. Now for the announcement. 
You may have noticed that I have a second channel. For those of you who don't know, all content that doesn't make it into main channel videos similarly to those raids you saw me find on the center will go over there. Or content that I may not have time to edit entire wipes will also go there. So make sure to check it out, the link is in the description below. Also, if you're looking for a server to play on with the most custom caves, the most events, the biggest cluster alpha prize and the most players, then look no further than my Windows 10 and Xbox servers that are wiping this weekend. If you're on PlayStation, I have a Discord for that too. Both the links to my Windows 10 and Xbox and PlayStation servers are all in the description below. So make sure to check those out so you don't miss out. Last but not least, I hope you go on to have a great day or night, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, damn. Damn. Am I gonna wake? Am I gonna wake? I see you. Oh, this looks so beautiful. Does it not say that? Fucking better. There's so much brain power into this. Yo. <laughs> Keep it up. I'm, I'm just trying to get the triangles right now. Yeah, you're all good. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. This is beautiful. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I think a screen is done after this. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh no.